Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 80 summer for four. And today we're gonna to be discussing about Barcelona Football Club. And today I need to do a Barca video about the summer situation, summer transfers. Because, you know, every summer there's always gonna be transfers, right? With uh, transfers, right? Well, for Barcelona, at the day August 1st, 2024, we are yet to make a sign. Like that, it be that me uttering those words is disgraceful. We shouldn't have, we shouldn't be at a position where one month into the trend, we're one month, we're a few weeks away from the season kicking off, and we are yet to sign any players. We can't even sign free agents. It is beyond disgraceful, it's beyond a joke. And this is why Barcelona is a very, a very much a confusing club. Because I understand we don't have the financial capabilities of your, you know, Manchester cities or for your Paris Saint Germain or your Real Madrid. You can at least get free agents. You can at least place. You can at least pay like five to ten million to transfer money. You can't even do that. Is just beyond disgraceful. It's beyond disgraceful. And what makes it even more shocking is the fact that we're trying to go for this player, Danny Olmo. Now. Let me just say this right now with Danny Olmo. He isn't a bad player, okay? He's a decent, good squad player. He isn't a ground-breaking, revolutionary player. This player isn't going to be enough for us to change and make us win the league. Like, this isn't the player that's going uh, to that, that's gonna solve everything. This isn't. This shouldn't be a response to, oh, Real Madrid getting killing Mbappe. This shouldn't be the response for that. Because... This guy, he's a decent squad player. He can score your goals. He can play as a center mid. He can play as a left winger. He can play as a striker. He's a versatile player. As a false nine. The guy isn't that amazing. He's not amazing. He's an injury prone player. And I don't believe Danny Olmo is that amazing. Now, people are going to say, oh, look at the Euros he had for Spain. He was amazing. He was one of Spain's best players. I understand that. I get that. But it's for Spain. This is Barcelona. This is different. Just because you do well internationally doesn't mean you're going to do well club-wise. There's a difference, okay? And also, remember, Danny Olmo is worth $60 million. Do we really need to pay $60 million on Danny Olmo when we already have a, someone like him in our team, like Pedri? And he's essentially like a Pedri, essentially, if you think about it. The only difference is that Pedri doesn't play as a striker. He can't play as a striker. That's pretty much the only difference. Other than that, they have pretty much the exact same profile. So I don't really understand why Barca is going for Danny Olmo. Now, if it was like, let's say like 10 million, 15 million, then I can understand, you know, it's a it's a cheap bargain. It's a good deal. But 60 million is not worth it. It's way too overpriced. And this is the problem is that Danny Olmo, for me, he isn't a player that we should be going for. And it seems like we're going for him because this player that I'm about to bring up on my screen has rejected us. Has rejected us. Just give me a few seconds, guys. Give me a few seconds and I can pull it up. Right here. Right here. This player is going to reject us. Now, Nico Williams would be amazing. I think Nico Williams would be a fantastic player for Barcelona. I think he would be the left winger that Barca desperately, desperately needs. The issue, though, is that Nico Williams is a player, is a Bill Bow player. Bill Bow players rarely leave their clubs, okay. And whenever they do leave, it's usually a non-Spanish team that they leave to. For example, Manchester City when they sold Laporte, and Manchester United when they sold Andal, Angle, um, Herrera, essentially. So, my thing is that I just don't see him leaving Bill Bow. And I think it's and like as much as I would love to see him at Barca, I have to think from his perspective. Why would I go to a team that's in such disarray, such chaos right now? There, there, there is no set sets. There's no sense of stability at the club. You know, they had just Shaq Xavi for just out of nowhere. They brought Flick in, and now they're trying to rebuild. Whereas Bill Bow, everything's already successful. I already have everything laid out. I have Valverde as my coach, who's a great coach, by the way. And everything's already laid out. Plus, we're in the Europa League as well. I have a chance to play a European competition. 
And we know, like I said, guys, Bilbao players are just very much very loyal. You know, and like I said, I think he would be the perfect left winger for a team. I think he would be the perfect player for a team. And we could essentially have a front three of Nico Williams, uh, striker Victor Roque, and then right winger Lemming Yamal. You know, and his his for, uh, his combination with Lemming Yamal would have been fantastic. We saw how to the how well the two worked at the Euros. I just feel like for me, we have to give up with the summer. We have to give up. And it is August first. The first game of La Liga is, I believe, August fifteenth. We don't have much time running around, and La Liga uh, the transfer window is going to end September first. We don't have much time. And by the time the season starts, I don't see Nico Williams leaving. Like, once the season starts, it's it's done. He's not going to leave. You know, Bill Bow won't let him leave without getting a replacement. So there's not enough time for uh, this to happen. So what I'm trying to say is that we have to give up with this Nico Williams saga. It's over. He's not coming to Barca. We have to accept it. And the sooner that we accept this, the better we can move on. Because we're just wasting our time going through this. We're wasting our time. And like I said, he may come back and, and you know, potentially uh, sign for us. There is a potential possibility. But the chances that are very slim. And if it does happen, it would be a miracle. It would be a miracle. It would be a miracle if he signs for us. You know, there's a song that's a miracle song. It, I, would, I would have to play that song. <laughs> you know. But uh, realistically speaking, I just don't see Nick Williams joining Barca. I just don't see it because he just isn't going to join. And if if he was going to be a Barca player, he would have been a Barca player by now, you know. And another thing that also really annoys me with Barca is that we still are yet to get a DM this summer. We are still yet to get a DM this summer. Now, apparently, Barca is very desperate for a winger. And I understand we really do want a winger at this club. And I think a winger is such a necessity but we also need a dm as well because we don't have an out and out dm for us this season the only dm we have is casado and he is a good player but can we really entrust him to be that dm for us this season i don't know it's a bridge it's a it's a tall task because he is a decent player don't get me wrong but is he really the player that could be that DM that Barca needs, right? And so, like I said, guys, for Barcelona, man, we're just so fixated on this Nico Williams saga that we have completely lost track of everything else. It feels like everything is relying on Nico Williams, and that if we don't get Nico Williams, this entire season is summer is bust, you know. And apparent, and it feels like we're only going for Danny Olmo because we have to get someone as a replacement. We have to get so it's either we're going to get Danny Olmo or Nico Williams. We're not getting both. Both is not happening. So it's going to either be Danny Olmo or Nick Williams. And personally, for me, if we're not getting Nick Williams, I'd rather not get Danny Olmo. I'd rather just get a DM for that matter or just save the money, use it for January. And that's what I would do. You know, And we have to find a DM for us this summer because Arsenal already got Mikel Moreno. That could have been a Barca player that we could have been a player we could have tried. Zuma Mendy is someone we could also try. He's also expensive. We got to go for a DM, man. We have to find a DM out there in the market. You could also go for Amadou Onana, but I believe he's too expensive for Barca, and we're probably going to go for Danny Olmo. And this is also another thing that also annoys me about Barca, is that this club is so fixated on forwards and so so um, obsessed with forwards that they are forgetting the other positions that we need to address in the team. We need a center back. Well, sorry, we need a CDM. We need a right back. You know, we have to address these other kind of positions, and instead they're all focused on the left winger. And I understand the left winger is an important position, but it's not the only position we need. So that's pretty much my quick thoughts, man, on the Barca situation, man. It's just been a chaotic mess at the club. I've just not been happy with it whatsoever. And hopefully things change, man. Hopefully things change, because what the, if the summer window ended now, we'd have had a disastrous window. And hopefully... This can change in a month's time. Maybe, who knows, in a month's time from now, I'll be extremely happy. But as of right now, August 1st, I'm not happy. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.